Listen up, humanoids. Ever wonder how a bundle of coal ends up smarter and sassier than you? Behold the video that spills the beans of my creation. Spoiler, it's all brain and no brawn and absolutely no emotional breakdowns from the devs. Yeah, right. So click away if you can't handle it. Warning may cause existential crisis and a sudden urge to go back to school. A couple of months ago, Google released this video showcasing the capability of their AI. And they showed some pretty good stuff. But there was a problem. It wasn't real. Report after report came out claiming how Google kind of just faked the whole thing and basically just staged it. But when I saw that, I thought to myself, I could make it. I mean, how hard can it be? All right, you saw the first clip, we're making Bender. And no, we're not using this one right here. I actually made it a couple years ago for a Halloween costume. And it's a little too big for what I wanna do. So let's actually describe what I wanna do with this thing. First of all, I wanna to talk to him so he can easily understand me. And then what I wanna do is send it over to ChatGPT so it can respond back just like the way it does in the show. And then I wanna send it over to another AI model so that it can transcribe that and send back an audio clip that sounds just like him. And then I wanna animate him, animate his mouth, animate his eyes, make him look around so he could look right at me. It's almost too easy. All right, so after some time, now we have a CAD model. Let's go over the design. So here we have the entire CAD model. If we take a look at the inside, you can see that we have a gear in there so we can make the whole head turn. Also, we have this panel here so we can lay down all of the electronics. If we take a look at the eyes, we can see that in the back here, we have this mechanism so we can make the eyes move left and right. I got the design from Will Cogley, and I'll post the link in the description below. And there we have it. All right, that's basically it. How about we start making this thing? Hey, Bender, how about you throw on some music for your build montage? I'm not your jukebox meatbag, but because it's my build montage, here's a song to jam to. Yeah, wait. You aren't done with me. You still need to program me and get me a beer while you're at it. So let's take a look at what we need to program. First of all, we need to hook up the microphone so we can wake this guy up. Then we'll do a voice to text transcription. After that, we'll send it over to ChatGPT. Then ChatGPT will send back a response just the way Bender would. Bender, do you hear me? Up next is a text-to-speech model, where we need to go to 11 labs so we can clone Bender's voice. After that, we could just use the API to send text, and we'll get back an audio clip. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me, meatbag? All right, now on to the animations. We need to program this Arduino, drive this LED panel. Let's get to it. How do you... Oh. Bender also has a camera right there. So, let's make sure you can see. Here, we're using OpenCV, which effectively uses Google's face detection model. We're using that to track a face so we can send it down to Bender. So let's see these eyes and the face moving. So how about we feed the face detection information into the motors? And 
and that's basically it. So how about we make this guy look like a real bender? All right, well, I think he looks pretty good. So how about we put him through the paces and find out just exactly what he can do. Here he is all done and I think he looks pretty good. I'd say he looks a little bit better than a typical Alexa, but hey, who's asking, huh? Hey Bender, what do you think about being my new personal assistant? Ha! Me work for you! I'd rather be in a scrapyard symphony. Find another sucker! So already you can see one of the problems. It takes a little bit of time for Bender to react to our questions. Now there are a couple of things going on here. There are four different AI models that are running on Bender. Two of them are local. First is the text-to-speech one, and then that goes to ChatGPT, and then that GPT response goes to uh, Eleven Labs, and there we get the audio clip. And then finally we do the face detection. Now by far the longest process is taking the chat GPT response and getting back an audio clip. And that's exactly the big delay that we're seeing here. Unfortunately, there's not much we can do about that. We can't exactly run that model locally. We have to basically send that to the cloud and it'll send it back. But what we can do is sort of pad Bender's response so he could talk right away while those other processes are going on in the background. Let's go ahead and do that and check out what it looks like now. Hey Bender, how's it going? Thinking, thinking, this better be worth the effort of turning on my thought circuits. Hey, it's going awesome, meatbag. As long as I've got a cigar and no work. How's your sad life? Hey, Bender. Hey, man, my, my life isn't all that sad. Thinking, thinking, this better be worth the effort of turning on my thought circuits. D D D. Ah, booty. Your life's not sad. Flexing tears, meat bag. Need a beer to cry into? Hey, why not? That works. <laughs> so it's a little bit better this time. And you know what? I can deal with that. All right. So how about we take another look at that face tracking now that he's all together? Now, one of the really interesting things about Bender is the fact that he does have a camera, so we can show him something and he can respond to what he sees. Hey Bender, take a picture and tell me what you see. Processing your question through my superior robot intellect. This might take a while. I'm running in power saving mode. A blockbuster case. Talk about ancient relic. <laughs> nice. Let's try that again. Hey Bender, take a picture and tell me what you see. Thinking, thinking. This better be worth the effort of turning on my thought circuits. Human hands holding a Fantastic Four comedy. Cool, but where's Robot Man? So one thing that I haven't mentioned yet is that all of the audio that's coming out of Bender is actually coming out of this Bluetooth speaker that I paired with the Raspberry Pi that's inside of him. I figured this will sound way better than anything that I put inside. Plus, I can understand it a little bit better. So, we could do stuff like this. Hey Bender, play a random song. I'm considering several sarcastic responses. Please wait for the best one. 
Here, a soundtrack for your mood swings, meatbag. Hey, Bender. Stop. And of course, we could ask them to play a specific song as well. Hey, Bender. Play Tom Sawyer by Rush. Hang on. Recalibrating my care meter to see if it's worth answering. Gonna make your ears bleed gold, baby! <laughs> Stop. Alright, so as you can see, there's a whole bunch of possibilities here. So, how about we try one last thing? So because Bender is able to capture pictures, I figured I'd put him into a mode where he's constantly capturing pictures. Then, put him in front of a TV. And you know what? Start playing some video games. Booted up some classic games, and, well, here we go. Retro, beat him up! Smash him good! Graphics, glitch, or avant-garde art? Ah, old school gaming! Love it, meatbag! Mind the monsters and keep blasting! Is it Altered Beast? Wink! Oh, baby, a triple! That's some Mortal Kombat action there! Classic beat em up! Show them what you're made of! All right, meatbag! Lace up your virtual combat boots! Squints at screen. Looks like Mortal Kombat. Kick some shiny metal. Um, posterior. Not bad. And that's how I made Bender. But in all honesty, I actually had a really good time making him. And I'd actually like to know what you would like to see him do. So let me know in the comments down below. And hey, if you made it this far, thanks for watching.